There's many reasons why I think it's important to keep a sketchbook and to draw in it regularly or paint in it regularly. Um, but to be honest, in the past, I was not a fan of sketchbooks. It took me a while to kind of understand the importance of them. You know, I, I painted and, and drew for many years of my life and I didn't keep sketchbooks that much. You know, over the years, I, when I was younger and growing up through high school and in college, I had sketchbooks that I drew in from time to time, but they weren't as important to me as like the, the paintings and stuff that I were doing, that I was doing. So just within the last year or two, I kind of started to really get a handle on, you know, get an understanding of the importance of keeping a sketchbook and, and how cool it is actually, because you're able to look back at all the things you've done over the many months and uh, weeks and stuff. And it's a lot of memories. You definitely have a lot of memories. And uh, especially with my plein air painting sketchbooks, I can look back to all the travels that I've taken, all the places that I've been, all the interesting things that I've seen. And it kind of transports me right back to that time. I can remember creating it. And that's just one aspect of it. You know, you can have these these memories of places that you've been or ways that you were feeling, you know, if you kind of treat it like your journal, you can also write in your sketchbooks as well. I've done that recently, you know, just writing out all my thoughts, um, whether it's related to art or not, but I don't know that I'm going to do that in the future. I think I'll keep like a separate journal for like my, my thoughts, but that's, that's the cool thing about sketchbooks is that they're very personal and it, it kind of, uh, they've kind of helped me develop, a style over time. And I don't know that I have a particular style myself, but it's basically helping me figure out what I like as an artist, what, I, what, I, what I'm drawn to as a person and as an artist, the kind of subjects that I like, uh, the way that I create, what I like to draw with, you know, the certain materials that I've experimented with, things that I don't like, things that I do like. The sketchbook is kind of like this place to, it's like the testing ground. You know, I've really started testing a lot of things using ink, ink pen, uh, black and white ink on tone paper and brush pen and graphite charcoal. And I've really figured out that I like ink a lot more than graphite or charcoal. Um, so it's, it's all like a personal preference thing. And even painting in sketchbooks, you know, watercolor sketchbooks. I tried a few different things with those as well. You know, taping the edges, not taping the edges, doing all different kinds of, of painting subjects over the almost two years now that I've started keeping these sketchbooks, I'm able to look back at subjects that I liked, things that turned, paintings that went well, paintings that didn't turn out well, and to see why they didn't come out well. I mean, there's so much to learn from keeping a sketchbook and, uh, you know, just, just using it regularly. And I think it, it helps you develop more as an artist. You know, like, that's what I was saying. Like, it helped me develop what kind of subjects I like. You know, I, I, I started learning that I like to draw animals. You know, it's kind of cool. I, it's not something I really thought that I would like doing, but I like drawing animals more than I like drawing landscapes. I'm more into painting landscapes and I like drawing animals. Um, I also like drawing architecture and painting architecture. So I'm just learning all these different things about myself over these you know, past two years. And uh, there's probably a lot more I can learn and, and definitely I want to push myself to experiment more. And I, I think that's the other aspect of a sketchbook that's really cool is like you can you can really, you know, it's not something you have to show to anyone else. It's very personal. You can experiment, push yourself, try new things, and you're probably going to fail a lot. And a lot of the stuff in your sketchbooks may look awful. Uh, but you might have some good things in there as well. So some things might turn out well. Um, so it can just be a mishmash of things. And, and once, eventually, once you feel you get more comfortable, you can be, start being more consistent in your sketchbook, start getting a style down or just a way that you like to draw or uh, certain techniques that you like to utilize in your drawing, stuff like that. And over time, it's, it develops into somewhat of a style. Obviously, when it comes to a style, you can have many different aspects to your style. You don't have to be locked down into one way that you create. Um, but anyway, that's a different video on style I've already covered, but yeah, I think a sketchbook is really like an extension of that. And I think it's really a roadmap to finding yourself as an artist and helping you develop, you know, your style, your, 
techniques, your um, evolution, your evolution of a, as a person and as an artist and how your work's going to evolve over time. And the sketchbook is kind of, yeah, that instrument that is able to, where you can, you can freely express yourself without worrying about failing or worrying about other people seeing it. You can just freely express yourself. And I think that's, that's really the power of sketchbooks. So love to hear your thoughts down below. What do you think about sketchbooks? And uh, if you have any other topics you'd like me to cover in the future, let me know. Post them down below. Take care of yourself. Peace, my friend.